Yellowstone Super Volcano. Astonishing find made by scientists concerning the magma chamber. What they found above the magma chamber. Callum Hoare of Express UK reports. Yellowstone scientists made alarming find in the lake that sits on top of the caldera, the crater, above the magma chamber. As we know, Yellowstone Lake is the largest body of water in Yellowstone National Park. It covers 136 square miles. It's of the greatest interest to the United States Geological Survey as part of the Yellowstone Supervolcano because it lies below the basin of the lake. Supervolcano is under the lake. Actually, the roof of the magma chamber is the floor of the lake. The area caused a brief spell of concern in 2004 when the ground under the lake started to rise significantly, creating a bulge. But it's a more recent find that has alarmed the researchers. In March of this year, a new study revealed how non-native lake trout has heavily affected animals in the park. Zooplankton, cutthroat trout, river otters, osprey, bald eagles, bears, and elk are among the creatures whose numbers, diet, and behavior have been altered because of the presence of the invasive fish. Scientists analyzed data spanning more than four decades. These were from 1972 to 2017. And they made a conclusion that the impact of the trout that are found in Yellowstone Lake, in particular the decline of native cutthroat trout, has cascaded across the lake, its tributaries and the surrounding ecosystem. The study was spearheaded by Lucia Tronstad from the Wyoming Natural Diversity Database. She said, our study illustrates the potential impact of a single invasive predatory species on otherwise pristine ecosystems. Monitoring over the past three decades show a dramatic drop in the number of native cutthroat trout that inhabit Yellowstone Lake and is believed to have been caused by the illegal introduction in the 80s of lake trout which prey on cutthroat and spawn at depths inaccessible to bears, birds and other animals. And despite the cutthroat trout decline, grizzly bears abundance throughout Yellowstone National Park has remained stable. Dr. Tronstad explained that grizzly bears and black bears frequency of occurrence on spawning tributaries and use of cutthroat trout as a food resource were greatly reduced after the lake trout invasion. Quote, however, this was localized displacement and their populations were not otherwise affected because only bears with home ranges neighboring Yellowstone Lake, lost spawning cutthroat trout as a food resource. Since bears are omnivorous generalists, they could make use of other foods. By 2007 to 2009, grizzly bears had shifted to alternative prey and the proportion of cutthroat trout in their diet had declined to zero. Elk then accounted for 84% of all undulates consumed by bears in the Yellowstone Lake area, suggesting that lake trout had some level of indirect negative impact on migratory elk using this area when spawning cutthroat trout were rare. Now, however, Dr. Tronstad did note that the extensive gill netting of lake trout over the past 24 years has begun to help the cutthroat trout population in Yellowstone Lake. She says, the juveniles are again recruiting to the cutthroat trout population. After being absent for many years, spawning adult cutthroat trout are returning to some of the smaller tributaries and bear use of these streams has increased as a result. Osprey, however, she says, have not yet responded to the recent increases in cutthroat trout prey. The outcome of restoration efforts to tropic levels with and across ecosystems in Yellowstone Lake watershed remains uncertain.
If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media, and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.